everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I am blaming it all on Misty. So I'm gonna say it's all her fault. She created a project that I had to join in. Um, I was not gonna join in any other projects for this calendar year um, because it's been a rough year for me and um, I am way behind on my panning, but, but she created a project for the Pantastic Ladies that is a theme that is near and dear to my heart. This is At The Hop, which is all 50s and 60s, which I feel like sometimes I was born in the wrong decade because there's something about the 50s and the 60s that just, it speaks to my soul. So I had to join in for this. Absolutely had to do it. I am going to love every second of this. And um, I love the prompts that she has on here and like, especially the music stuff, the movie stuff, I love it all. So very excited about this. Like I said, it's a Pantastic Ladies collab. I'm gonna have a list of everyone that's joined in down below. There should be a spreadsheet um, link that has like everyone's links to their Instagram, YouTube, all that good stuff, the rules, the prompts, all that. It's all gonna be down, down in there. Um, it is 50, 50 prompts. Makes sense, it's a 50s and 60s project. And um, it is a year long, starts 11 at 25. You're gonna be seeing this the day after because of the way my um, upload schedule is going. I'm actually filming this like a week before it is due to go live, but um, I can't post it before the intro date, so it's gonna have to be the day after. So everyone else probably already did their up, or their intros yesterday. It's okay, it is okay. We're gonna, we're just gonna forge ahead. We're gonna do this. I will actually start using these products on the 25th, um, not before, and um, that flicker. Did you see that light flicker? We have like heavy storm right now. Lots of rain. Hopefully, hopefully I don't lose power. All right, let's do this because it's gonna be a lot of products. I'm gonna go through them fast. Um, first prompt, saddle shoes, black and white packaging. I chose the Bayomint Leave-In Conditioning Styler. Let me just figure out which one it is. Here it is. Um, yeah, I, I'm really digging this brand. It is for curly hair. It is for textured, curly, coily, kinky hair. I'm, I'm really digging the brand. Um, all right. Next prompt is poodle skirt. That is a product that was popular in the community or social media. Let me, let me unbury this one. I have a lot of palettes, a lot of palettes that are going to be coming into this. Um, BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast Palette. Very, very popular in this community. Um, I chose the shade Lemon Pepper. It is reflective. Hopefully it is not going to blind you. It is this shade right here. I apologize for the reflectiveness. Um, my goal is going to be to hit pan on that one. This is, um, 2023 is my, my year to really rotate through stuff. So you're gonna see a lot of things with usage goals, hit pan goals, that kind of stuff. Um, all right, La Bamba, a Latin owned brand. Um, I'm going with Glam Light and um, yeah, I'm digging it. Glam Light Veggie Lovers Pizza Palette. I am going to be doing Yellow Peppers, which is this shade right here to hit pan. I'm excited for that one. I can't wait to play with that palette. All right, moving on to a Rock Around the Clock. That is something used morning and night. Where is it? It's hiding. There's there's a literal pile of stuff over here. This is the Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Bright Eye Gel Cream. And I use my um, eye creams morning and night. You know, when you get um, a little bit more mature, you want to make sure your skin is properly hydrated, even even us oily skin girls, we gotta have proper hydration. So my goal is to finish this. It is brand spanking new. It is like bright pink. So, yep, gonna try to finish that. My dog is uh my dog is visiting. Hi, buddy. He's a happy puppy. Um, all right, moving on to a teenage in a teenager in love. Wow, words. Um, that is something a product I loved and used in my teens. This was difficult because a lot of stuff when I was a teenager, you know, a few years ago, uh, they just don't make that stuff anymore. 
It's easier for you guys that are in your early 20s because it wasn't all that long ago. Some of us that have a few years on you, it's a lot harder to find stuff. Um, I'm going to go with good old fashioned chapstick. I like, I've always been a lip balm girl. Back in the day, there wasn't a lot of choices. Chapstick was one of those that was, was around. So that is, my goal is to finish that. Of course, it's, it's a lip balm. I got to finish it. Um, Splish Splash, it's a bath or shower product. I went um, the easy route on this one, and I'm just going to go with one of these guest side soaps. There are some easier to use products in here because, like I said, it's 50 prompts, and I'm bringing them all in. I don't think there was a specific rule how many you had to start with, but, you know, I'm adventurous. I'm bringing them all in. Um, all right, moving on to My Eyes Adored You, a product you use on your eyes. Um, <laughs> this is where it starts to get interesting. I went with eyeshadow. I mean, of course, I'm going to go into the two, uh, the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette, and we are going to work on Nougat, which is this shade right here to hit pan. And I'm going to leave this out because I think I have another one in this one. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. I'm just put it right in front of me. All right, next one at the hop, the project namesake. Um, this is an item you'd use for a night out. One of those things I absolutely have to have on a night out, which doesn't happen very often because I'm a mom of three. I'd like a smell good. I got to have a smell good. So I'm going to bring in the Tova Signature Eau de Parfum. And this one, I want to have 10 uses on. I love this. I don't think they even make this anymore. And um, yeah, I want to use it. But I don't want to pan like a whole full-size perfume because it is strong. It's like one or two sprays last all day long. It would take me well over a year using that daily to get that done. All right. Fats Domino. Blueberry Hill. Yeah. Um, that is a blue item. This is kind of a light teal blue. Didn't have a lot to work with here. Um... This is, what is this? The L'Oreal Magic Root Cover-Up, and my goal is going to be to finish it. I have used this, um, but there's still plenty left in it. Uh, let's see. Return to Sender. That's one of those songs that's going to get stuck in your head. Um, until I get down to, like, the lower ones. Because there's a lot more good songs in this. Um, that is a product you would return or declutter. And this one, I tried to return it, but they wouldn't take it. They just gave me a credit, which I never used. This is the um, AOA Studio. It's like the Shop Miss A. This is the Majesty Six Pan Highlighter Palette. I had had it in projects um, earlier in this year. I just was not able to um, finish anything. And this shade right here in the top. Um, I want to say I probably have used that like 10 to 15 times. Still plenty of product left in there. I would like to hit pan on that one. Are you noticing a theme? If it's got a pan, I want to hit pan on it. Um, all right, next. Bye Bye Love, and that is a gimme product or a product that is almost gone. Uh, let me see which one's which. This one. This is the Ajua Bayomint Moisturizing Curl Defining Cream. I have used it a little bit. Most of it's still in there, but it's not a very big package. So I figured I can probably knock this one out pretty quickly. Um, Tutti Frutti. <laughs> Something fruit themed, packaging scent, etc. All right. I'm pulling out the other Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, the original one. And which one did I pick? Uh, Strawberry Bonbon right here. And I am going to attempt to hit pan on that one. The twist. Let's do the twist. It's a product that twists up. And if I can find it, there it is. This is the Color Max Diva Glamour Matte Lip in London. And I would like to use this 10 times. There's, there's a ton of product in there. That's why I'm only going to do it um, 10 times because... I have a lot of very um, big projects that I do where, you know, it's not uncommon for me to have multiple 50 product projects going on at the same time. So 10 uses for that one. 
Mr. Sandman, another song that will get stuck in my head. Um, an item you used before bed. Here it is, brand new. This is the Clinique Smart Clinical Repair Wrinkle Correcting Cream. And um, it's a deluxe size, but it's still gonna take me a while to get that one done. I am using something else right now, so I'm not gonna even start on this one until I get the other one done that is a full size. Next, tears on my pillow. It's a waterproof or a cryproof item. Um, that is the e.l.f. cream eyeliner. This stuff does not budge. I don't even know if they make this anymore. This is in the color copper. Tons and tons in there. My goal is going to be um, to hit pan on this one. Pan, jar, whatever. Same thing. Hit the bottom. Next is American Bandstand. Um, that is an anti-aging product. I am going with the Exuvians, what is this official name? The Age Reverse Total Correct and Sculpt Serum. It is a deluxe size, but it all has to get used up. Um, next, the Pompadour. Um, that is a hair care product. Of course it is, I mean, it kind of has to be. And um, that is the Ajwa Bayo Mint Moisturizing Curl Defining Gel. So I have a defining cream and a defining gel. Um, next is the Bouffant, another hair thing. Um, that is an oversized product or a product that creates volume. I'm going very literal with this with the Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Mascara. Of course, that's to finish it. I mean, it's mascara. Who would only use it for a few uses? Nobody. Um, okay. TV Dinner. That is a convenience brand. Or a convenience product. Not brand. Convenience product. Um, I'm going with the Avon Original Skin So Soft um, Bath Oil Spray for when I don't have time to like put body creams and stuff all over. It's just psh, 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 wipe and you're done. Lights flickered again. Please stay on. Please stay on. All right, next is Hula Hoop, something in round packaging. I didn't have anything spherical, so I went with something that was like a, a round bottle, if I can figure out where it is. Okay, here it is. It is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Tea Tree Scalp Treatment. As you can see, it's round, and um, my goal is to finish that one. Uh, next one is Barbie. It's a pink item. It can be packaging, product, whatever. Um, we're going back into the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. No, it's in the Semi Sweet Palette. Um, and that is down here, Pink Sugar. And, of course, it is to hit pan. I mean, it's pink. It says pink. So I picked something that was pink and had pink in the name. Next is Mickey Mouse Club, and that is something that a friend sent to you or a friend is panning. Um, all right, this was sent to me, probably one of the first things that was sent to me um, since I was on YouTube. It's been years. This was sent to me um, by Sharice, Brown Eyed Girl Sharice, and um, she sent me this and another palette. I'm trying to remember... I think it was the um, BH Cosmetics Bubs Beauty B palette. And um, I'm bringing this in for her. And crazy enough, <laughs> I'm going to work on the blue in here. I only want to use, um, do 10 uses. This one is not to hit pan because baked eyeshadows, like with this, if I hit pan, I might as well use the whole daggone thing. And I am not about that life, especially not with a blue eyeshadow. So I am going to attempt to use this blue eyeshadow 10 times. God help me. Um, all right, Cinderella, a sparkly or glittery product. I think I have, um, Jaeger, I think I have one of your hairs on my lip. Um, I'm going with an actual glitter. This is, um, what is this called? Made with Love or With Love Cosmetics, I think is what it's called, um, from the Natural One palette. And I'm going to try not to blind you this glitter right here what did i have um to hit pan on that one i am brave because that is like a deep purpley mauvey kind of glitter that could be hard 
Um, we're going to go with it. We're going to try and hit pan on that. I love Lucy job switching. We love, I love Lucy. Um, something that smells like chocolate or candy. I mean, that kind of tells you exactly what it has to be. Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. What, I mean, what else smells like chocolate besides the semi-sweet? Yeah. I am going with white chocolate, this big bad boy up here. And um, gold, of course. Hit pan. I think I've used that once or twice in my life, if that. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take some doing. Too Faced, it's no joke. All right, Treasure Island. I loved this. I, even my kids love that. Um, it's an item that is a treasure in your collection. Uh, as far as my skincare is concerned, it absolutely is. Niacinamide serums are my jam. I have to have it. Um, this is the Skin Daily Niacinamide with um, vitamin B3. I, this is my third bottle of this. I absolutely love it. And um, yeah, it is an absolute treasure. It's my last bottle. And I don't know if I can still get it. I'm going to have to look it up, but... We'll see. Um, next, Sleeping Beauty is a lip product. This one. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Vintage. I want to finish this one. I would like to finish that one, yes. Um, moving on to Peter Pan. It's an item in childlike or child-themed packaging. More Too Faced, but this is very childlike to me with the gingerbread and stuff. I, maybe not to other people, but to me that screams very childish. Um, so I have picked a shade in here. Try not to blind you. Um, oh snap! Doesn't have much usage on it, and my goal is to hit pan. I got tons of pans in here, but that is one I don't have pan or even much use on. So I would like to hit pan in that one as well. All right, moving right along to Rebel Without a Cause. I absolutely loved this movie, uh, discovered it when I was a teenager, and I just, mm, James Dean, need I say, and I'm not into blondes, I, I like my tall, dark, and handsomes, but there was just something about James Dean, mm. um, I chose, oh wait, I, let me give you the prompt, um, something the beauty community loved, but I didn't, <laughs> and I chose the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Queen Bee. I don't have anything against the color or anything like that. I am not one a liquid lipstick person and I don't like matte lips in general. It's just not my jam. I will use them, but it's not my thing. Um, I would like to use this 10 times. That's all, I think that's all I can handle. Um, Misty, had to be in here. Had to be in here by Johnny Mathis. A bold lip or eyeshadow. <sighs> this one, this is, this is not generally my jam, but I'm going to put it in here for 10 uses. This is the Buxom Infrared um, Lip Liner. Goodness gracious, that is not a Jessica thing. I know I'm wearing a red lip today. It just felt appropriate for the 50s and 60s, but it is it's definitely not my jam. Um, 16 Candles, a product you wish you had as a teen good hair care and, and how to understand my curls. Um, Shea Moisture. This is the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Absolutely love this. I totally wish I had this as a teenager and I wouldn't have had that, that big frizzy hair that I had back in the day. And uh, of course my goal is to finish it and not drop it. <laughs> Make a mess. All right. Motown, a black owned beauty brand. Could it be anyone other than PML Pat McGrath Labs? And let's see, I chose Synthetica, which is this purple shade right here to hit pan. I, these are not going to be easy because they're very pigmented. It's, it's going to take a little doing, but I, I went with purple because it's a color that I absolutely love to wear. So we're going with that. Unforgettable. A product, our favorite product in your collection is, is it any wonder that I'm putting this vat in here? This is the Echo Style um, Olive Oil Hair Gel. Love this. Of course, to finish because hair products are always to finish. Hopefully, my camera doesn't overheat because i got a ton left to go still. If it overheats, I will just pick up where it left off. All right, next, Maybelline. Of course, it had to be a Maybelline product or a drugstore product. 
I don't own any Maybelline except for nail polish and I'm going to be doing project polish most most likely for next year so I didn't want to put polish in here so I went with a drugstore product and I picked the Physicians Formula Golden Emerald um, this is the Diamond Metallic Liquid Eyeshadow you can kind of see the colors in there it is super super pretty um, 10 uses on that one next is the Banana Boat that's the Deo song Deo Deo um, that is an item in your morning routine. Serums are part of my morning skincare routine. So I'm bringing in the Boots um, AHA Serum to finish. Next is the Great Pretender, an item that doesn't do its job well, which is probably why I haven't really used it a whole lot. This is the NYC Eyeliner Pencil in, in the Navy. And um, I have a silver line right here. I want to use it enough to where I get to the point where I sharpen that line off that it's gone. And what I did is I just took this cap, put it at the top, and then measured at the very bottom so that um, I can get some usage on it without having to, there's a dog here floating, um, you know, spend my life with it. it. It's not the greatest eyeliner pencil. You know, I've had it a little bit. It is on the drier side, but it's always been on the drier side. So we'll see. We'll see what we can do with that one. Um, moving right along to Ella Fitzgerald, these foolish things, something you feel foolish for buying. And you, you might be surprised by this one, but it's a Coastal Scents product. Um, this is the Winterberry palette. It is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful pinks and purples. How can you go wrong? The reason I feel foolish for buying this is I have most of these shades in singles already. So I, like I got one or two shades in here that I didn't already own in singles. So that's why I feel foolish for buying it. So I am picking the Tulian Pink, which is the shade down here to hit pan on. That is one that I did not have as a single. So it makes sense to work on in that because the singles I have already started working on and you know, you know how that goes. Um, Eartha Kit, Santa Baby. Yeah, um, something we got as a gift or a most expensive item. This is something that my kids got me as a Christmas gift. Um, do I have the right one? Yes, this is the ColourPop Super Shock in Koosh, and I would like to hit pan on that. Um, from my understanding, they're pretty easy to hit pan on, but, you know, I haven't done it yet. Next is um, aluminum Christmas tree, something metallic or foiled. I'm going with, not that one, this one, the Jelly Much, um, ColourPop Jelly Much Shadow in Sage Bundle. I love the shift on this. Absolutely love this. Um, it's like a champagne color with a light teal shift. Um, my goal is 10 uses on that. McDonald's, an item you use up or go through quickly. That, of course, is matte cream eyeshadows, but I don't think I'm going to go through this one quickly. Um, this is, let me scroll back down. Um, this is the Hema palette, and um, it's the Hema Be Natural palette. Haven't really used it a ton. I'm going to work on shade number one here, and my goal is going to be to hit pan on that. These pans are massive. So that is going to take a while. Um, next is 1955 Bel Air. It's something that is considered a classic or an oldest item in your collection. This is my oldest body spray. Um, Bath and Body Works White Tea and Ginger. I will mark it. I am just below this blue line here. I attempted to finish this in other projects earlier this year. It didn't happen. I want to get it done. I just I want it done. It's old. It still smells fine, but I just want to get her done. Um, all right. Next is uh, 1955 Lincoln Continental is a product that is in for the long haul. This was depotted, but I still like it. It's not my, my favorite. It's going to take me a while. Lights flickered again. Um, this is from Milani. It's the Hermosa Rose illuminating face powder. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it as a face powder or a highlighter. Um, I, I'm not sure how I'm going to use it yet, but I would like to hit pan on that. Um, Gumby, a 
putty or cream product. I don't have any like the putty primers or anything like that. So I went with a cream product. And this is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Ringlet. It is super pretty. I would like to hit pan on that one. All right. <laughs> Yogi Bear. I, I love Yogi Bear and Boo Boo back in the day. Anyone else? Yeah, that was good stuff. Um, that is an item that's been a bear or difficult to use or finish. This, again, I had this in another project. I wasn't able to finish it. I will have to mark it. Um, I am right there at the moment. This is the Olape Olaplex Hair Perfector number three. Um, yeah, it's, we'll get into it later. It's, it is a bear, that's for sure. Um, A-Line Dresses, a product that starts with the letter A. Um, this is Adjua, starts with an A. Um, Bayomint Protect and Shine Oil Blend. It's a, it's a hair oil. So, you know. All right, we're getting down to the last hmm, seven or eight here. Um, where did I leave off? Oh, Marilyn Monroe, a product that makes you feel glamorous. Like I said, when um, I do my nights out, my very, very infrequent nights out, I, like I need to feel put together and finished when I'm going out in public, I need a good scent. I need a good quality scent. So I'm putting in another one of my very expensive perfumes just for usage. This is um, the original Boucheron. And um, this one, I would like 10 uses out of that as well. There's just no way I could finish this entire thing in a year. I, I wouldn't want to. All right, Dorothy Danridge. Um, Dandridge, why can't I speak? Dorothy Dandridge, um, that's an award an award winning item or something that should be y'all know how i feel about this this is the not your mother's matcha green tea and wild apple blossom butter mask love 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 if it hasn't won awards it absolutely should it is holy grail status for me and i want to finish that one um ruby d a red item of course with a name like ruby you gotta have something red i'm going all crazy with the red lips I don't know why. This is the Buxom Powerful Lip Plump Balm in Fiery. And it is fiery red. It should go very well with that lip liner for 10 uses. Because the lip liner is in for 10. That one's going to be in for 10. That one is stupid pigmented. It. I don't know why they call it a lip balm. It is a lipstick. It is a balmy lipstick. All right, Ricky Nelson. Mm, absolutely love Ricky Nelson. Um... It is a travel friendly item or an item that you would travel with, obviously for traveling man, even though I would have picked garden party cause that's, that's how I roll. But, um, yeah, I can do travel. I can do traveling man. Um, I chose the, this is the Coloplast gentle rain, sensitive skin, moisturizing body wash. And, um, of course that is to finish. It's a travel size. Two more to go. These were the two that were added last minute. So if you didn't check out the Facebook group um, where we edited, because there was really only 48 prompts in there, we added the two in. One Misty added and one I suggested and she was okay with it. So we've got the last two, 49 and 50. Calendar Girl, it's an item that is nearing or expired, nearing expiry or is expired in your collection. Um, this one, because it's SPF, you definitely have to get those used in a certain amount of time. This is the Neostrata Sheer Hydration SPF 35. Um, I am just below the pink, but I will mark exactly where I am. Actually, I'm about right here. So I will mark that, of course, to finish. Of course, to finish. And Roy Orbison. Mm. Misty does not like Roy Orbison. I love him. I absolutely love him. Only the Lonely. And that is an item that you only have one of, or like that type of item you only have one of in your collection. Um, for toners, astringents, that kind of thing, I only have the one that my mother-in-law gave me to go to the hospital. Um, and that is Witch Hazel. I do use it as an astringent because um, I like it better than things like Sea Breeze and that kind of stuff that are really harsh. I knew that was going to happen. Honestly, I'm surprised it didn't do it sooner, but um, at least I did get my last product in. So uh, there is that. All right. So that is all 50 products. I have a good mix of usage, hit pan, finish, all the things. I, I feel like I covered a lot of stuff in my collection. Makeup, beauty, hair, skincare, body care, you name it. It's in there. And um, 
we're gonna see how it goes because it's a lot of stuff part of the reason I chose um, usage on a lot of them or hitting pan and stuff like that is because like I said 2023 is my um, rotation year I will finish some stuff but my goal is to really rotate through my collection I want to do that every other year to make sure things are still good get uh, like lots of products get some love so nothing is completely neglected so that is this this is kind of like the kickoff to 2023 for me as far as getting usage and stuff since the majority of this project is going to be next year all right i'm going to wrap this up because it's gone on long enough long enough that my my camera overheated i had to like give it a chill and um get back to it so again list of everyone that is joined in is going to be down below if you want to join in we would love to have you um hi hi mr jaeger um, Misty is the creator. She's going to be listed down there in this description box as well. Plenty of time to get in on this. Even if you're not part of the Fantastic Ladies group, we would love to have you do this project with us. Once it's live, it's open for anyone that wants to join in. And I think that is everything. I think that's everything. If I forgot anything, just, you know, ask it down in the comments and I will get back to you. All right. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.